Hi, welcome to the Artlam channel. I am Henry. Today I will be drawing Kobe Bryant. Let's jump into it. Since I'm going to draw a body in motion, I started with the gesture line. It's the one line that the entire body follows. For this, I wanted to draw the body jumping up and backwards in a fadeaway shot. From the gesture line, I roughed in the rib cage, shoulders, and pelvis. I have a reference to look at for this. It looks like the head and pelvis are facing the same direction while the rib cage is at an angle. I use circles to represent joints. Well, closer joints will have bigger circles, whereas joints that are farther away will be represented by smaller circles. After that, I rough in the muscles and try to get some of his features in. After the rough sketch, I started a new layer and started drawing in more detailed lines based on reference. You'll see the importance of reference coming up. I, I had a very specific expression I wanted to draw on him, but I couldn't get it quite right because I didn't have the right reference. You'll see here that I actually delete all this work that I had done. After finding a better reference photo, I decided to go back to the underdrawing and lay in a bit more detail before I commit to the finer lines. So a little background about why I'm doing this. He's really a hero to me, uh, Kobe Bryant. When I heard that he passed, it, it was unreal. It was just devastating. Um, growing up, watching him play basketball for all those years, it, it taught me a lot. Uh, I looked up to him, his tenacious nature, the, the way he always got back up. No matter how hurt he was or how tired he was, he'd play like 42 minutes or something like that. It's crazy. He was someone who left everything on the court. Uh, he made no excuses and he just let his performance do the talking. I think in some ways he's made me a better artist because it's, it's not all about talent. He came in to the NBA with a ton of other people more talented than him, I think. But he always came out on top through hard work and diligence and just putting in the hours. And as an artist, that's pretty much how it is as well. Now it's time for the snake. Uh, I had a pretty rough sketch in the beginning. Um, I didn't even know how a black mamba looked like, but I, I did some research on Google and it's a really cool snake. It can, it can grow up to 14 feet and its mouth is black. I guess that's why it's called a black mamba. I did the rough color off screen because it's basically coloring between the lines. I used Laker colors to represent uh, you know, the, the fact that he played for the Lakers his entire career. I'm using a different technique for painting here. I'm painting with masks. I'm basically painting out parts of the, the color to expose the background underneath. So you see the highlight on his forehead, that's actually the yellow background that's coming from behind. And it's an interesting technique because you can use different background colors and it'll dynamically change the entire uh, look of, of, the, of the piece.
at this point I wasn't sure how I wanted the snake to look yet uh, I, I was basically just painting from reference uh, I, I didn't know if I wanted it to look 3d flat uh, one color two colors I was just wasn't sure it, it's mostly just exploring how how things could look at this point I decided to give the snake the same treatment I gave Kobe, where I painted out the highlights and exposed the background, um, which is yellow. <clears throat> but it also created this this problem where, because I had, you know, two colors, I had the black and the purple, and the yellow, it, it took too much attention away from Kobe, which is the main uh, focus of this piece. So I decided to make it monotone. Since it was starting to look kind of retro, I decided to throw in some font, uh, kind of in, in the spirit of old school posters or, or magazine covers, and laid out a few more elements in there to really tie the whole piece together. Well, that about wraps it up. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe and if you have any questions please comment below see you in the next one